So this is the season five finale of The Walking Dead. It's called Conquer. I'm very excited to see how this is all gonna turn out. So let's just get into it. Oh, Morgan. Finally. I want everything you have. Every last drop. Maybe the W's for wanker instead sort of wolf. Fucking Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. You should just go. Now. No. Yes. Morgan, you're a badass. Just go. We're here. You just said you weren't. Deep shit. Yay, Gwen! And Carol! Oh my god. Where go? Just try. That know. shot right there. Those three. I need to the end right now. Try to find out where Love them. The cavemen. They were all nomads. And, um, they all died. And In times of crisis this. on this show, and someone just tells a story. I love it. It's not been a great season for Sasha, has it? Lost her boyfriend and her brother. She blamed herself for being a bit of a bitch to Noah. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. That's got a stink. Some bitch knows about how my skills are, bro. Are they going to find Morgan in the woods and then bring him back? The word of God is the only protection I need. I hope it's not. I hope you get eaten. Whoa, that was fucking badass. Now I can see why a couple of people want him to play Ghost Rider. I want my dish back clean when you're done. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. <gasps> oh, you... Hope you die. Don't. Oh fuck. I'm already crying. I don't even know if he's dead. Where's she it's just a shoulder. Hopefully he'll be alright. Fuck me. It's a bit terrifying. Oh. <gasps> yes. But I don't think Dow's ever met him, is he? I think I know who he is. But still, yeah! Please die. I'm ready. Good. Bye. I want to go, oh Jesus Christ, but it's probably not appropriate. <laughs> The circumstance. Yes, cry. I enjoy your sadness, you snake. I am sorry. And I mean both emphatically in an equal measure. It's an apology. <laughs> Don't understand a word he fucking said, but it's an apology, I think. I almost killed you. But it was yeah. funny as fuck. I really, really hope you die very horribly, you son of a bitch. Leave him alone. Oh! Die! Kill him! Please. Please, eat him. No, no, fuck off, fuck off. this fucking episode doing to me with Glenn? Ah. Uh. You ready? You ready? You ready? The dead don't choose, but the choices you made, how we've sacrificed you. Sacrificed your own? You left them all outside the fucking church, you asshole. His own fucking people. There is a vast ocean of shit that you people don't know shit about. <laughs> Rick knows every fine grain of said shit. 
I love Abraham. <laughs> Such a way with words. <laughs> I'm glad my precious cinnamon roll. They all died because of me. Yep. You hypocrites cool, ungrateful son of a bitch. They'll find us. I'm glad you're too good. I love you. I'll try and use us. Now he's helping them. <gasps> Dara's awake. They'll try to kill us. Yes. Stop now, Stop now. Stop. 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 <gasps> Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, that's really sad. He was such a nice guy. Oh, let him kill him. Oh my god! I'm gonna be in here! Wolves not far. What? Well, that escalated quickly. That was a really good finale. I thought it was a bit slow to start, and I think quite a few of those scenes with Aaron and Daryl could have been cut down. Don't think it needed to be quite as long as it was. But it all led to the whole thing with Morgan, so it was justified. I love that Morgan's finally back and reunited. Can't wait to see more of that relationship explored next season. I like how we kind of saw a little bit of everyone, really. And I love that Carol's a fucking badass. I love that Glenn's a fucking badass. Sasha's a freaking badass. Gabriel's a snake. But he seems to be kind of... sort of making amends near the end. Hopefully Nicholas is changing his ways as well. But I will never forgive him for shooting Glenn and making me think he might be dead. And... I loved that like second half of it, just as soon as it all went to shit basically, I started loving it. I love how all of Alexandria had to come around to the idea that they needed to change to survive and we saw that at the end. Deanna's husband died, that was really sad. Jesse's husband died, not so sad. And I'm really interested in seeing how Alexandria is going to change next season now. Because I think Deanna is coming around to the idea of changing to survive after her husband dies. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen and to see where we're going to go with those like wolves, the W's, those freaks. That should be interesting. I take it they're going to be like the new antagonists. But I'm very excited going forward to see what's going to happen. Season 5 has been really good. I think overall I preferred the first half leading up to the hospital and Beth's death. But this second half was really interesting as well. It had a lot of really powerful moments. A lot of good character and world building I think on display. And yeah, overall it's been a really great season. And I can't wait to start season 6 which I'll be doing very soon. Thanks for watching.